Huntsville Hospital is running dangerously low on their supply of blood. The Red Cross is opening their blood center. They ask that blood donors report to 701 Andrew Jackson Way immediately. We need some help up here. We've had four different tornadoes to hit us, and there's another one on the way. Can you send us up some blood by highway patrol? At 10.50, an enormous new funnel. What's its course? Directly as. Well, let's get out of here. The tornado keeps coming through the heart of town, directly toward Huntsville Hospital. and you see your home and two seconds later it's all gone. Just a nightmare. Just a nightmare. The town is torn in a million pieces. I was in the Battle of St. Lowe and the Battle of the Bulge in World War II and I never saw anything like this. This just happened so sudden it's worse. We have found parts of the bodies here. We've found parts of all the bodies. So we We've got to go back and hunt for some more. A million pieces and problems to match. Bodies still being pulled from the wreckage. Gas mains burning. Water lines broken. The train wreck still blocking some of the rescue routes. To make matters worse, snow and cold. National Guardsmen patrolling the streets use burning oil drums to warm their hands. One explodes, and two of the guardsmen, sleeping in an unheated store, die as the building goes up in flames. This is what tornado winds can do. And this. Mrs. Wilson, could you tell us what you found when you got home? A mess. One big, super colossal mess. Could you describe some of it for us, some of the things? 
Well, chicken feathers in a skillet. Chicken feathers in a bowl that was in a refrigerator with a lid on it. Where did the chicken come from? From a, fa a chicken farm just below us down here. They had quite a number of chickens, and we got quite a number of feathers. In less than 24 hours, they counted 147 tornadoes. And the damage is enormous. All in all, more than $600 million. Homes, businesses, stores, thousands of unsafe buildings to be searched, shuttered, marked off limits. And disaster for the people who owned them. You got a house for sale here? Sure, dollar and a half. Have everything you want. A house for sale, huh? Yeah, yeah. It stood up. We were in it when the tornado went through. So, if you want it, you can have it. <laughs> dollar and a half. Plus tax. <laughs> Some take it philosophically, others can't. What can you do? We lost everything that we had. But most refuse to give up. Do you have any idea yet what you're going to do? No, sir, I don't. I don't know what we do yet. Try to get our things, a few things we can get, and store them somewhere and try to start again. But starting over won't be easy. Help will be needed. The presidents declared 10 states to be major disaster areas, eligible for federal assistance in all its many forms. One-stop disaster centers are set up to handle home, farm, and small business loans, food stamps, shelter, trailers, and other temporary housing, a score of other programs. And help is coming from every direction. Red Cross, Salvation Army, all the military services, Corps of Engineers, the National Guard, to clean up and restore essential services. Rescue squads from hundreds of miles away. Volunteers of every kind. What a mess. What a mess. Well, it'll all work out, I guess. It's just too bad. There's an awful loss here. My, these people, I feel so sorry for them. But I want to say one thing. The neighbors and the people have been outstanding. Really outstanding. Well, I'll tell you, I've uh, restored my faith in mankind with everybody. Uh, there's always so much talk about people. They don't care about each other. No way. There's no way. These people over here just bust their backs. Money, anything you want. If I took all the offers that people gave me, I'd be a millionaire. April 3rd, 1974. The day of the killer tornadoes. They killed 307 people in 11 states and eight more in Canada. In Brandenburg, with no sirens, no weather wire, 31 dead. In Xenia, 33. In Louisville, Cincinnati, Huntsville, the story was different. They had warning, planning, emergency operating centers. And Hamilton County around Cincinnati lost only four lives. Louisville, three. Huntsville, none at all. Was it just luck? Coincidence? Well, quite possibly it was. But warning can save lives. And that was another day when civil defense paid off. And the people who lived through it will never forget. You, you look out and see that crowd and you think, oh, that's just not going to happen to me. That happens to other people and surely it's not going to hit us. And it did. Yeah. I, I just hope to God next time somebody listens.